going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know you've been asking Eddie, where the heck you been? I know I haven't posted in a while guys. I've been focusing so much on the uh, new, I don't know if you want to call it a solar slash electrical test. It's pretty much the, the testing uh, channel to test all these different things. I've been just getting equipment to make sure uh, everything's working properly so I can give you an accurate reading on whether you know this jackery works good these lithium iron phosphates work good uh you know to drain the batteries to check this thing does the uh you could check the oscilloscope on here uh all that stuff you know uh dc power supply so just want to make the video good for you guys but today's video is going to be about the rammer and the alpha obd2 now before i get in this guys uh involved or in in really in depth in this video if you guys do not have one of these, do not even waste your time because a lot of you guys say, oh, Eddie, I see the app, but I cannot, you know, what, what do I need to buy to purchase it? So before you purchase the app, okay, I'm going to need two hands for this. Hold on. So before you purchase this app, my goodness, strong, this, there we go. You're going to need this device right here. All right. This is the one I purchased now. I, there's two different models. One is, I, I don't know, I forgot the difference. One is like an MX Plus, and I think one is an MX. Um, it's a little more pricier, the MX Plus. I just got it just because it's their newer model. But how this works, also, if you guys have an iPhone, XNA that. That ain't going to work. You need an Android uh, tablet or an Android phone. Uh, I keep this Android phone specifically because I run into so many things where I need uh, to use an Android product for anything. Same thing with tuning, why I need Windows. So, what we're gonna do here, and I'm gonna show you a little bit, and this is how I change the fuel um, miles chingus on here, you know, where it says not 400, it's stuck on 400, if you guys do get a bigger fuel gauge. But, what I have noticed with the OBD, uh, or with this and the Alpha OBD2, is for the 19s, you don't have a lot of info, but you can change a lot of things on this. And I'm gonna show you an example and I'm gonna show you the app right here. So this is uh, the app right there, Alpha OBD2, and, or Alpha OBD. And uh, I'm going to show you here, let's plug this back. Oh, hold on, I got, I got some connectors. Give me one sec here, guys. Okay, so here's a couple different options now this can only do right here guys these are all your options if you got an alfa romeo fiat um i don't even know what the hell and about a bath a bar i don't know what i don't even know what that is uh dodge ram chrysler jeep and i'm not we're interested in all these and i'm not gonna buy a maserati so you're going to obviously pick what you got uh 3500 2500 whatever you got now, these are all your options. You can do ABS, you can do airbags. The main thing, guys, that you're going to be playing with is in the body control module, right here where it says body computer. Now, here's the only problem, and this is where the majority of stuff we're gonna wanna change for fuel, if you added an LED light, anything like that, you're going to need to get into the body control module that says body computer. Now, here is the problem, though. You cannot just click this and it's going to let you in. You have to have a bypass to, it's going to, if you guys saw, I did a video where if you look, let me get under in here. So you see, I know I got a lot of stuff going on in here and switches, but let me turn the light on for you guys here. So you see, I got an OBD2 here. I got an OBD2 there. I got an OBD2 here. So there's a lot of shenanigans going on here. And here's the thing. So this... Uh, where is it? This part right here of this OBD2 goes up. See that wire that's going up and it plugs in to here. Now, you can get that from Raj, this bypass cable, or if you have, uh, where I think I have a spare. This is one of the ways also you can do it. Uh, if your truck is tuned, you have most likely this installed right here. So, this obviously plugs into the OBD2. Uh, you're going to, on the OBD2, where the brown is, you're going to put the yellow, and then where the yellow is, you're gonna put this brown into there. And then this is gonna go right up top. I did a video on all this guys, where it goes uh, up top in the modules. 
Now, if you wanna see where all this goes, and if you don't wanna deal with this, if you wanna go with just the uh, bypass cable, go look at the uh, video. I'll try to find it, it's not too old, and post it down in the description for you guys. And one goes into the OBD2, one pretty much is to get into the body control to unlock uh, all the stuff, and for tuning. The other one is if you need to check a engine code or anything like that. But if you guys are already tuned, and uh, if you know what I'm saying, um, because you have to do this uh, to un unlock it so you can download the tune. So when you guys are tuned, that is the only way that you're going to get into this body computer portion of it. That's where you're going to find everything. Now, uh, you can test a lot of stuff, engine. So in the engine, if you look here for the engine, there is no uh, 19 available. You see that for the engine? I know here it says 1317, and I clicked it anyways. I just wanted to see, and all the information was wrong. So for us 1918 guys, we're gonna have to wait till they come out with uh, an update on this thing. Uh, what else? You will also, the main thing is going to be security gateway. You could change stuff in there. So now I'm gonna uh, show you for the fuel. So you see this right here? This one is my unlock port. This is the one, see that cable? It goes up into here. And this allows me to get into the uh, BCM. So we're gonna unplug this one. This is going to the banks. And this is the original OEM one. You can see, uh, I don't know if you can see right there where all the colors are. See that? So you don't have to deal with pulling these cables out. So. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into here, into this one right there. Okay, keys on. And I'll show you, you'll see here, the lights. See that blue light right there? I don't know if you guys can see that. So now we're going to make connectivity. So we're going to go here. Alpha OBD. And then it's going to go to your little Bluetooth right here, OBD Link MX Plus. Bam, just like that. Wait for it to actually connect. Let me get in the truck because this dinging is going to drive me absolutely insane. Let's get in here. All right. Oof. Okay, so we're connected. Now, look at here. Look at, look at, look at here. Body, computer. Select it, and this it gives you 19. See here, body computer, 2019, right there. Bam. It's going to say here, uh, not connected, just hit connect. It's going to connect for you, and then I will show you the, uh, the fuel uh, thing on here. Okay, so now it's connected. So now here, so you go down here to, let me switch hands here, to these little options right here. See that? So this will, you can read pretty much everything if you want to read system ID, gives you VIN, gives you all tons, I mean tons and tons of stuff about your truck. You have, you got a check engine light on, but we got no lights on. This, uh, nothing yet, but this is where the good stuff happens right here. See when you hit this little car under the hood, then select procedure. Uh, my snow plow, you know, it's, I don't really use it that much, so I'm not going to activate my snow plow. Uh, you know, California, we don't really get to use our snow plows. Now, how did I do the fuel? I know, and you see all this, guys? You can test all this stuff. I mean, there is so much. Or if you guys say you add fog lights, you know, you can turn them on, do that yourself. Uh, let's see, high beam, horn, auxiliary... I, I gotta find, and I think it goes in lead, and another thing, yeah, uh, oh, program tire size, here you go, this is pretty awesome, guys, so if you do have bigger tire size, you can put the new current tire size so your speedometer can actually be, you know, on and accurate, and how did I do the fuel, oh, pressures, for you guys that have a tire pressure light on, also, you can drop the temperature so you don't have to deal with the dang light, it drives me nuts, that is awesome, too, about this thing, and I got to find the fuel one, guys. Uh, give me a sec here. Okay, guys, I finally found it. Under the body control uh, module, go to 
car configuration change. Then you're going to go to, uh, there's so much stuff here. I know it's here. It's going to be full-size tires, spare, police light feature. Okay. Uh, we're fuel capacity right here, and they do it in liters. So, uh, what the heck is 52 gallons? So, let's go convert. Oh, here we go. Convert 52 gallons into liters. And we get search. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 52 gallons, 52 US liquid gallons. Oh, wow, okay. Is 196.841. So, we're going to go. 196.841. All right. So now we're going to get that out of our way. 196.841. Double check. Okay. Now hit start. Uh, check the status of the component. 196. Okay. Click next. Nothing. Oh, wait, did I click it? There we go. Okay. Current status of the corner. Oh, duh, because I already did it. Uh, okay, guys. So this is why it's like this. Uh, yours will not say this, obviously, because I just remembered I did it. I don't know why I didn't tell you guys. But, yeah, I did it already. So when you hit next, yours will tell you this is the current status of it. Um, that's why, or yours will not tell you that it's, you know, this 197 liters. Mine is telling me because I changed it. Yours will not. So once you just hit that start, it'll do it, and you'll be all done. And then uh, that's it. Go back. Get out of it. Yep. Quit it. And then you can uh, unplug everything. We'll turn it off. And then I'll show you guys here. Unplug it. And I'll show you what the uh, fuel uh, meter gauge says over there. All right. Let's turn it. Oh, you know what? I don't know if this is going to say 700 or because this is not full. I know it's going to go to full, but I came back from the desert and I filled up like I don't know, 30 miles away from my house. So it's probably going to say like 400 something. But usually it'll say like 7, you know, 680, 7 something on there. Let's see. And it says nothing. Hmm. What, 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 what the hell? Very weird. All right, let me, let me try this again here for you guys. There we go. Okay, so yeah, you see... Four, yeah, it's only 412 because it's not full. I know it says it's full, guys, but this thing will probably take another 20 gallons. So um, I got to go. We're getting ready to go to the desert. So once I get to the desert, I'll fill it up, and I'll uh, you guys see it in the updated desert uh, vlog. All right, guys, so we just filled it up, but it only went to 421. Now, I don't know if that's because of, you know, the miles because this thing literally has been only been driven, you know, for or been getting uh, driven while towing. So if that has something to do with it, I don't know. Uh, but I have seen it before and I'm sure some of you guys have seen it where it said like 680 or something So I notice when the miles per gallon, you know go up um, These go way up also once you start driving it a little bit But I will guarantee you guys if you do purchase that uh, OBD alpha or alpha OBD it will uh, work for you So there you have it guys for the alpha OBD tube. It will work. Uh, you can do a tons a tons of different things on it, but if you have any questions, you can uh, DM me on my Instagram at Eddie's Life or comment down below. But it's hard for me to respond to all of the comments down below on the video. But if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.